So our first vocab word, Wes and Leo. You need a piece of paper out? Need to be working? Okay, let's get caught up. Do you have the water table? Um, nope. Nice. Yep. So an input is the x value of an ordered pair. So if I have the ordered pair 3, 5, this is my x value. It's also the input. And eventually we'll talk about it as being the domain. Okay, I hear lots of little conversations that need to stop. So the x input domain are all talking about this first number of an ordered pair. The very first number of an ordered pair is the x value. If the input is the, x, is the x value, what do you think the output is? The y value. The y value. So we have the y value, which is also known as the output, which is also known as the range. Okay, so we have inputs and we have outputs. Input is always talking about the x, output is always talking about the y. <coughs> Ordered pair? No, no, no. Uh, I think like, I'm next to input. Domain. D O M A I N. So domain is another word for input or oh. X value. So they're all synonyms. Right? Okay. So then we have a relation. which is a way of pairing inputs and outputs. So we have inputs, we have outputs, and then when we're going to pair them up, we're going to get different ways to show that. One of them is an ordered pair, right? That's how we can, it has the word pair in it, right? Pairing, ordered pair. Yeah. See what I did there? Yeah, smart. What do you need? Uh, yep. Uh, you can use it, yeah. Wait, no, was there one? Was there a charger there? Yeah. Oh, no, that one's mine. I've always had that one there and this one here. Oh, I didn't see it. Okay, so some of our relations, we're going to do some examples. We could have ordered pairs. Like three, five, two, six, one, seven. So we could have ordered pairs. And the way we show it's a relation is we do these funky little brackets at the ends. See those funny little brackets? Like a green sometimes. Right. A funky little bracket. Okay. We could have a table 
before we list the x and y values, I would have 3, 2, 1, 5, 6, and 7. But notice that each of these are matched up with what I got from the ordered pair, right? So the 2 has to stay with the 6, the 1 has to stay with the 7, the 3 has to stay with the 5. Right. The rule, we'll talk about rules in a little bit. So this is a table of values. And then another way to show a relation is through a mapping, which is kind of like a table. You just draw two ovals. And you connect them through the two ovals. Yes, they do. Okay. And we have our x values connected to our y values. So these are three different ways that you can show pairings of inputs and outputs. And I used the same inputs and outputs for each one. I have these ordered pairs that I then took and made into a table, and then I took that table and made it into a mapping, connecting the ones that go together. I did not mix match. Does everybody understand that? Yes. Okay. Is it like, why is everybody bring a blue today? I don't know. Like, were they always wearing a green, green, Irish, yeah, hmm. blue? I don't know. Just felt like wearing green and blue today. Okay, and then our last vocabulary word is what we've been waiting for, the word function. So we have relations, and then relations can either be one of two things, a function or not a function. Okay, so imagine we have like... Um, Okay, do you know how in language arts you have nouns, right? And then what are the three types of nouns that you have? Uh, Maybe I would like to say. What? It's person, place, pronouns, right. and function. Person, <laughs> place, <laughs> or space. Are you asking for the definition? Yeah, so you have. You should go to Miss Denny's class, bro. Okay. So look up here, please. Look up here. You have a person, a place, or a thing, right? We have this big, everybody look up here. We have this big category of nouns, and they could fall into three little sub subgroups, okay? So same thing with relations in math. We can have all different kinds of relations, but it's going to break up into two subgroups, function or not a function. Okay, is everybody with me? So I'm going to tell you right now how to decide if something is a function or it's not a function. There's one very key detail that sets functions apart from not functions. So a function is a type of relation, right? It falls into that category of relation where every input has only one output. Okay, so that sounds like kind of confusing, but there's a very easy way to look at this and determine it. Okay. The shortcut, easier to understand definition of every, every input has only one output is that x values do not repeat. Okay. So if I'm looking at a, at a set of ordered pairs or at a table values or at a mapping, 
If any of my x values repeat, it automatically becomes not a function. If all of the x values are different, it stays a function. So right here, do I have a function up here? Do any of my, do, if I'm just looking at my ordered pairs, do any of the x values repeat? No. no. If I write it as a table of values, do the x values repeat? No. How about with this mapping? Do any of these numbers get used more than once? No. So this would be considered a function. Okay. So if it repeats the function? If the x value repeats, we're ignoring the y values. Guys, please stop playing with the water bottle. Let's just pay attention here. Thank you. So we're going to start our next page, and we're going to ask ourselves, if I give you a relation, is it a function or not? Is the given relation a function? This relation is given as ordered pairs. Wes, are you getting all this written down? You're going to have a new seat tomorrow. You need to prove to me you can actually, what? I am slow, I'm, I'm talking in between each thing I write. I'm not moving too fast. It might seem fast if you don't pay attention and then you look up and the whole page is filled in. Okay, so when I look at this set of ordered pairs as a relation, is it a function? Do any of the x values repeat? Hayden? They do not. So is it a function? It is. When I look at the x values, 0, 1, and 2, they do not repeat x values do not repeat. It doesn't matter that I have a y that's also a 1 or a y that's also a 2. We're ignoring the y's. We're only looking at the x values. Is this relation a function? Hayden's saying no, it's not a function. Yes. Wait. What is the rule? What's, x values cannot repeat. What are my three x values for this relation? So do any of the x values repeat? Yes. Yes. So that disqualifies it. It is not a function. X value negative one repeats. Sad face. No, this is not a function. As soon as your X value repeats, no bueno. Okay, we'll we'll stop right here. We will pick up here tomorrow.